Welcome to Meco Graphics. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt chart. There are three steps to creating a Gantt chart. The first is to set your timeline. The second is to add tasks and subtasks. And the third is to format your Gantt chart. So let's create a Gantt chart, starting with step one, set your timeline. So first, let's insert a Gantt by choosing Gantt. I'm going to choose to add a blank Gantt into my slide. If I click on Calendar in the ribbon, I can choose the dates for my Gantt. So I'm going to choose January 1st through April 23rd and click OK. So now let's move on to step two and add tasks and subtasks to our chart. If I double click on the task and hit backspace, I can remove the dummy text and insert my own text. I'm going to call it requirements gathering. If I move down here and do the same thing, my first subtask will be meet with stakeholders. If I hit enter, it will automatically add another subtask. That one I'll call draft presentation. And my next one will be called present findings. Now I can continue to type these tasks in as I've just shown you, or I can copy and paste the text from somewhere else. So I have my text here in Microsoft Word. So if I copy it and go over to my task list, list I can insert the tasks. And you can drag to see all of the text. First, let me delete the two rows at the bottom that I don't need by right clicking and sec selecting delete. Then you can see that I have all of these tasks are shown as subtasks and some of them should be main tasks like requirements gathering. So I'm going to go ahead and select project plan. I'm holding down the control key, design phase, build phase, and present to client. I'm going to right click and say move task left. So let me go ahead and insert timeline elements. So let's start with requirements gathering. Click in the timeline section of the chart, right click, and I'm going to insert a bar to show my timing. And I can just pick up the end of that bar and drag it to the time that I'd like. And I'm going to make this one go through the 22nd of January. Now I can do the same thing with the next subtasks. I can insert a bar. I can keep going, insert a bar for draft presentation. And I can drag that. If I go down to the next subtask, right click. I can add a milestone here for presenting the findings. And I can choose to leave this date as it is, or if I right click on it, I can delete the date and just show the milestone symbol. So now I'm going to insert my timeline elements for the remaining tasks and subtasks for my Gantt chart. So now I've finished entering all of my timeline elements for my Gantt chart. So let's move on to step three and format this Gantt chart. So if I choose Format from the Meco Graphics ribbon, it brings up the Format Chart Task Pane, which is my home base for my formatting options. You can really have a lot of fun with the formats on a Gantt chart by changing the colors and styles of your Gantt. So let's do a couple of things. First, I want to make it a little bit easier to read, so I'm going to add grid lines to my Gantt chart. So I can add grid lines for months. You can see these are the vertical lines that divide the months. I could have made those zebra shading, which is a little bit bolder way to do it, but I'm going to leave them as grid lines. And I'm going to do the same thing at the task level, task level one, so that I have these major buckets of tasks with the subtasks inside the grid lines. Now I can also change colors on my chart by moving to the style tab. I'm 
to scroll up. I'd like to make the task list on this chart a different color. Let's make it this nice Boston blue. And then I'd also like to change my timeline element colors. So instead of having black bars, let's click on the bar and make that a dark blue. And I can make my milestone a different color. I'm going to choose this bright orange. And while I'm here, I'm also going to increase the size of the symbol so it's a little easier to read. If I click off, you can see my completed Gantt chart. Thanks for watching.